Well, Grand Slams are, are valued the most in our sport, these tournaments, um, historically. Uh, so these are the tournaments where I want to, to do well and do my best. Um, I obviously had a, uh, a phenomenal Grand Slam career that I'm very proud of and, and very grateful for. Um, I'm 29 at this moment and, and believe that, that I'm at, at a peak of you know, my abilities as a tennis player and I'll, I'll try to keep that peak <laughs> you know, as consistent and, and, and enduring as much as possible. So uh, again, it's, it's, it's privilege to be mentioned alongside all the legends of the sport that have won 10 plus Grand Slams and uh, you know, made history books. Um, and and I'm, I'm honored to, to actually play in the active tennis with two of them. The last ten years, matter of fact, I played with Roger and Rafa, who are still, still out there, and, and uh, you know, uh, other than that, I can't say too much. Can't add more because um, um, it wouldn't be fair towards the other players. You know, they are fighting for the same thing. So uh, even though I understand that, of course, he's one of the top players. You, you always get uh, get more attention and, and, and questions regarding winning Grand Slams and being one of the favorites, so I, I, I really value that, and, and that uh, also allows me to get myself in a, in a in right state of mind and good approach, and hopefully, as I said, physically as well, I'll be, I'll be uh, enabled to, uh, to uh, perform my best, because uh, at the moment, I, I, uh, I know that uh, there is a little room still yet to, to uh, for me to uh, get better physically, and, Hopefully that's going to be the case in the next couple of days, and then when tournament starts, all the doors are uh, doors are open.